All right, fellow Mac enthusiasts and tech wizards. In this video, you will learn how to download the latest and greatest Mac OS Sequoia. Get ready to dive into the future because today we're going to unleash the awesome power of Mac OS Sequoia onto your beloved Macs. I know you're itching to get your hands on the latest and greatest from Cupertino, and trust me, Sequoia is going to blow your mind with its sheer brilliance. We've got two super cool ways to get this bad boy downloaded, catering to every kind of Mac user out there. Let's break it down, shall we? On the description box, I provided two links. The first one is from the App Store, and the second is the direct link from the Apple servers. Click that App Store link, and this pop-up window will show. Just click the Open Link button, and the App Store will show up. Once you're on the page, feast your eyes on that glorious Get button. Smash that button like you mean it. Bam! Mac OS knows you're serious. System settings will pop open, automatically landing you in the Software Update section. It's like Apple reads your mind, right? Click the Download button. Now just sit back and let the magic happen. Mac OS Sequoia will start downloading in the background. It will be saved on the Applications folder once the download is done. Okay, tech aficionados, this one's for you. We're going direct, and we're going to tweak things for optimal download speed. Going back to the description box, you've got the direct download link right here. This is where the geekery begins. Open up Terminal by searching it on the spotlight above the upper right. Don't be scared, it's your friend. In the terminal window, type this command exactly as you see it. Ping swcdn.apple.com. Then hit the return or enter key. Decoding the magic. What's happening here? swcdn.apple.com is Apple's software content delivery network. Pinging it essentially establishes a stable connection, which can sometimes help stabilize and even boost your download speed when grabbing that big Sequoia package in the browser. Let the ping command run for a little while, say 30 seconds to a minute. You'll see lines of text flying by. That's the ping in action. On your downloads folder, the install package assistance.pkg will show once you're downloaded completely. All you have to do now is to install it on your disk. You can double click it and launch the installer. Click on the continue button. From here, if you want to select different drives to install Sequoia, just click the change install location button and select which drives you wish to install it. Click install button to proceed and type in your password and hit enter on your keyboard to start installing it into your drive. Wait some time to let it install. Click the close button. You can keep the installer, but for me I will move it to the trash since I will no longer need it. Now the shiny Mac OS Sequoia can now be seen on the launch pad. It would be on the second page. And alternatively, it can be found under the Applications folder on your Finder window. If you want to make a bootable Mac OS, you can click the video on your screen. Let me know in the comments which method you used and how your download went. Happy upgrading! Yeah.